You will need an umbrella or some sort of waterproof layer through about 9 o'clock in Omaha. You can see Dual Pole Super Doppler still has widespread light rain embedded steadier pockets across the metro, even a lone rumble of thunder over Glenwood. Zooming out, the back edge of the rain is already through David City, Columbus, and Norfolk. So if you're in one of those cities, or even York, you're dry for the remainder of the day. But all this continues to push to the east at about 25 to 30 miles an hour. Most of the lightning, the widespread lightning, is now into northwest Missouri, extreme southeastern Nebraska. But parts of southeast Nebraska picked up two to four inches of rain in just a couple hours early this morning. So that flash flood warning continues for far eastern Gage County and most of Pawnee County. Basically between the cities of Blue Springs, Wymore, and Pawnee City, you could have some high water on roads early this morning. So as a reminder, as I always say, just don't drive across water covered roads. Totally unsafe. Much needed rain in Omaha, 70 at the airport, dew point still in the upper 60s, so it's still humid out there, but it's going to be a lot cooler once this rain gets out of here. And you see by 8, 9 o'clock, the rain should start to push out of Omaha, done for everyone by noon. So if you're waiting to get outside today, I would wait until after 9 o'clock in Omaha afternoon in Iowa. Midday temperatures still in the low 70s, partly cloudy this afternoon, and look at high temperatures only in the upper 70s and low 80s this afternoon. Much cooler than that dangerous heat we had this weekend. Increasing clouds. By 10 o'clock, there could be a couple more isolated storms off to our west. Temperatures still in the low 70s. But later tonight and into Tuesday, we are going to see more storms move across eastern Nebraska and western Iowa. So we'll be pretty wet through the first half of tomorrow. Isolated storms are still possible tomorrow afternoon. And we have more storm chances. Isolated on Wednesday, a little more widespread on Thursday. And by the middle of this week, some places could pick up anywhere between two and four inches of rain locally. That's what we need to see. Heat is going to be back as well. After the cool start to the week, temperatures are back in the mid-90s by the upcoming weekend.